So check it out. I got this in the mail actually a few days ago. Um, but it's a very heavy, heavy, heavy box. This is 45 pounds to be exact. And the uh, Lazenite. No, not 45, it's 44. I got this um, from eBay from a seller called the Seed Supply. And um, anyway, let's see. So I was like, I can't remember how much it was initially, like the, the original price, and then it was $17 for shipping and handling. Which is really just the price of the um, the large um, priority mailbox. Um, yeah, I can't do this with one hand. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, it came up to fifty dollars and ninety nine cents or something like that, which is really crazy. It comes up to about a dollar, a little more than a dollar a pound. Which um, is the best deal that I found. Let me see if I can open this. Alright, so there it is open. Um, let me just get it out of the box. Um, it is way too heavy, so I can't even I can't even move it to take it to the greenhouse. I'm gonna get my son to take it out there. I keep forgetting though. I keep forgetting to ask him to do that. Um. So yeah, today is a good day to um, put down some azimite because it's raining and um, the weather is kind of drizzly, but it's, it's good enough rain. Um, I put it, let's put it into these uh, Parmesan cheese containers because uh, it's a good way to um, sprinkle it. To have it on hand, first of all, because, um, as you see, I can't really <laughs> carry this big old heavy box around, or bag, but I can definitely fill a couple of these things and carry them around with me. I'm kind of making a mess. This is not good. Alright, so... Off I go, I'm going, I think I'm going across the street. Um, Azimite is really good on um, cabbages and sorts, so I'm going to do that. So check it out. My beans are happily climbing up this structure that I put together for them. Actually, this is last year's tomato structure, but I took some of the sticks down from the frame and I put uh, strings. I guess it's sizzle. Um, <clears throat> but um, it's raining or it's drizzling right now. It's been raining most of the morning. I know it's just kind of drizzling and so I took a minute to come out here but um I guess one thing that I just remember, I just realized, is that <clears throat> I actually have no business being out here because you really shouldn't be touching, you shouldn't be touching things when it's wet like this. Because, you know, you'll touch that kale over there which might be infected. And this kale over here doesn't have any problems, but here I touch it and then it becomes infected with whatever I touched off of that. <clears throat> and, and same thing with the beans. Beans are especially vulnerable to that. So here I go touching these beans, which might have something on them. And then I go over here and spread something. So I'm really not... So anyway, so I'm not trying to touch anything as much as I would like to pick some of these peas, which aren't really ready anyway. I'm not going to touch them, I'm not going to touch them. And there's this pepper plant that's flopped over, I guess, heavy from the rain. I'm not going to touch it. What I will do is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, put down some of the, the um, I was going to call it diatomaceous earth, but this is um, azomites. 
I'm just going to sort of sprinkle it on top and uh, <laughs> almost like I would if it was azimite. I'm hoping that, <clears throat> excuse me, if there are any um, cabbage loopers in here that uh, they'll get muddled up. Um, like if it was, um, flour or something like that, I've heard you can use. <coughs> um, I mean, I should have just brought the, uh, the diet to my stirrup, but I forgot it, so whatever. Anyway, um, so this, this stuff is, uh, maybe better than as, than I diet to my stirrup because <coughs> it's going to fertilize plants as well as uh, provide systemic protection because what happens is that the, the, the azimite having <clears throat> all these missing minerals that are in the soil um, what happens is that they become the plants become immune all on their own so, maybe, um, <coughs> well, I guess what I have noticed in the past, past maybe two or three years that I've been using azomite, is that when I use it, <coughs> I get a lot less aphids and almost no white flies. It took me like... <laughs> I don't know, it took me maybe the first year, or like a whole year went by, and um, somebody else was talking about it. I was talking to somebody on a Facebook um, garden page, <clears throat> garden group, and they were saying, this person was saying, um, I guess she was like, she was actually wondering about you know, the benefit of using azomite. And it kind of triggered me to think about it. And I considered the fact that, um, you know, I really hadn't had any problems with, like, aphids and white fly the previous year, which is always a plague whenever I, um, you know, in all the years that I've ever gardened. Oh, the rain's coming down again. Yikes, so, um, holy cow. Wow, it's coming out real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, anyway, this is good because the rain's going to come down and it's going to wash this good stuff into the soil and help the plants to uh, better protect themselves. Um, yeah, so I guess in the meantime, you guys are getting a little bit of an, of an update tour. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have these tomatoes over here that are desperately in need of some um, support. But um, that's not happening today. <laughs> Yikes, I'm getting ripped. So, um, and my phone's getting ripped. So I'm just going to put this away and uh, I'll bid you goodbye. Thanks for watching.